A woman in New York City is seeking an unprecedented action by the court. She's asking that her name be deleted from three of the Internet's biggest search engines, Google, Yahoo, and Bing. The college student claims an ex-boyfriend posted explicit video of her online. She says that when you search her unique name online, a string of X-rated websites comes up. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is here to tell us more about this case. Ricky, the term revenge porn is new for some people. So first, lay that out for us. What is revenge porn? Well, revenge porn is usually the case of the jilted boyfriend or the jilted husband. It could be the reverse, but it's usually this way. What happens is a couple gets together. They may do a consensual a uh, nude photo or a uh, sexual tape, or there is a surreptitious, that is secret, videotape or photo that is done usually of the woman. The man is jilted. He decides in revenge that he is going to post this revenge porn, that is the photo or the video without the woman's consent. Right. That's the classic definition. So what legal protections, if any, does somebody have against revenge porn? Well, in the United States, state by state, there are laws that are growing that will allow you to go after certainly the person who posted it and sometimes certain sites. But what happens in our world is the world of the Internet. When the Internet came into being, and we were all excited about it <laughs> as a society, the federal government passed a law, and it's called the Federal Communications Decency Act. Okay. And what that was meant to do was to let the Wild West of the Internet go out there. Political discourse, disagreements. It's why you cannot sue for libel on the Internet. You can't sue Google and you can't sue another search engine like Bing. So here you have something that's destroyed a woman's life. So what is the woman to do? Yeah. So in certain states, and more and more, as I say, growing, there may be criminal penalties. But in terms of, uh, that's again- For the person that posted. Person that posted it, not the search engine. The search engines have, out of the goodness of their collective corporate hearts, have decided that they do have mechanisms for you to be able to get it down. That is, to take that bad video or that bad photograph off the internet. Right. And they have those, and she's availed herself of those. The problem here is she wants her name taken off the internet right. for good and forever. And her, her attorneys argued it is her name that that is something private. She has a right to that. Well, we'd like to think that our names are our own right. and they're unique, but they're very rarely unique. Susan Jones, Jennifer Smith, whatever the name happens to be, there could be many of them. Our names are not our own private property. Now, if you're a celebrity and someone misappropriates your likeness, that could be a different matter. But here, to actually get a, a, a service provider, like a Google, to take down your name for now and forever, that's not going to happen. Yeah. She has to use another remedy. In Europe, there, and I actually was unaware of this. I didn't know about it until this case came out today. In Europe, there actually is a law in regards to this, the, in 2014, the right to be forgotten. What's the difference between that and maybe what we have here? Well, the Europeans are in a different position than we are, really basically because of our extraordinary appreciation of our own First Amendment. What's happened in Europe, and frankly, it may be a very good idea, is that on a case-by-case -case basis, people can come forward and ask that they are, in essence, they be forgotten, that whatever was the offending material is really permanently removed. Well, that seems like a very logical solution. Yeah. The problem here is it has not been done yet. Now, that doesn't mean that it will never be done. So I think what the lawyer in this case is saying is, why not now? Why not this case? This poor woman, through no fault of her own, because this was a secret recording, winds up not only with this terrible video being out there that comes down, but that when you Google her name, all the things about porn sites come up. Right. She can't get a job. She literally, it's the first thing that comes up. You can go to reputation restoring companies. Yeah, and they will help you to move that down, but it, move it, it, doesn't, down. it doesn't get rid of it. So if somebody's really searching, they can find that information. Well, if you are someone who has 
five, six, seven, eight pages, they probably are not going to get to it. And she's but, a private person, so why would she have a lot of information? And she probably does right. not. So here is a terrible wrong for which there is not a current remedy. And we do feel badly for her. And in many ways, we would like her to succeed. The problem is there's no current way for her to do it. So maybe what her lawyer is doing is smart, even if the case gets tossed, because it makes us discuss it. And the only way that change starts now is when you get something out in the open so people realize how pernicious it is. Right. Perhaps a first step in getting a law. Actually, always, because <laughs> you have to start somewhere, and technology always leads the law. We're basically running to catch up. Right. Ricky Kleeman, thank you so much. Great Thanks, insight David. on this case.